Hi everyone, I'm JD from Lowbound Journals and today I have a very fun vintage haul video for you. I was able to go to one of my favourite shops for a second time this year called Kitten Vintage Mackay. Uh, I went with two of my friends who love that shop as well and I bought five junk journal packs. So the story behind this is the lady, the owner, Deb, she remembered me from the first time I went there when I asked about junk journal supplies and shared about what I do and the journals that I make. And she said that she, I inspired her to make up junk journal packs. And so she had a whole bunch in a basket. And of course, I had to buy some to support her. And um, I love that. I inspired her to make these packs. It was just really, really cool. So I bought five of them and I opened them all up when I got home and have them in this lovely stack here. Hey, not all of it is shown here. Some of it I've already put aside and shared in some mystery packs for the Beyond Blue fundraiser and some items I give away as freebies, anything that I personally can't use, but it's still cool because it's vintage and original and authentic. Um, before I show you this pack though, I want to share this one other find that I got from there, unrelated to junk journals, but still related to creativity. It's a vintage 1950s petticoat skirt. And I've been looking for one of these for quite a while now because there's a photo shoot that I want to do. I love doing creative self portraits and recreating beautiful uh, photographs that inspire me or images that inspire me. And there's a couple of different photo shoots I want to do with this. One where I'm wearing it and one where it's hanging up. Um, so this is perfect. I got a beautiful skirt, vintage skirt and I do need to get it altered. It is a bit wide here, needs a new elastic. So I'm going to get that fitted to me and then I'm going to have a lot of fun doing a creative self-portrait uh, photo shoot. <laughs> love, love, love. All right, so now let's get into this. I do have a video already sharing a walkthrough of that shop. I think I've got two on my channel, um, but I have another one. So that is exciting. Um, and that will either already be on my channel or it will come after this video. I'm not sure of the order that I'll put them up in. But let's have a look at this lovely pile of vintage goodies. So it's just a whole eclectic mix of different things. We've got this cute little booklet here. We've got this um, vintage fuse wire. Love that it's actually got the wire on there. Um, this one's pretty special. I've got a piece of like acetate plastic covering that one um, just a random assortment of different goodies and different dates some are some is older than others with best wishes to from I love the vintage postcard 1939 that is so cool beautiful this one doesn't have any writing on the back this one's got color illustration on it. So lovely. I've got a few different cards, more card style ones, photograph style ones. Then we've got a few vintage cards, like greeting type of cards. And we've got this one here. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? So they're sort of like lucky dips. They're wrapped up in plastic. You can only see what's you know on the front. You can't see what's behind. So once you get home, you get to open it all up. It's quite fun. And it inspired me. So I was wondering if anyone was interested if I made up some lucky dip um, junk journal packs like this. You get about 10 items in the pack. And it's just a mix of all sorts of different things. You're never sure what you're going to get in there. Um, this is a really stunning card. Look at this one. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It's beautiful. I love these books. I got all of these last time I was there. So I'm glad to get three more of these. I've been using all these pages in journals. You can even use the cover as a page in a journal. This one here is really cool. It's got some color photographs. The pages, look at that color. And I thought this would be great for collage tags where I put the 
uh, or sticker tags where I put the um, floral sticker over the top because the paper is already just so lovely. So I'm going to make some tags out of this book. And we've got these cool order forms. I thought they could be fun little um, journaling spots. Got a bunch of stamps. So I thought that could just tuck in a journal just like that or I could have fun cutting them out individually. Got these little journal card papers, note papers. Oh, look, I missed this bit. <laughs> you got to go through each and every page because sometimes you might miss something in between. So I've got a whole bunch of those. And I love the blue paper. That is very, very fun. So I might just slip that in there. Then we've got an envelope. I love this handwriting. 1956. These are special pieces. I love like this distressed paper like this. I know it's got words on this side, but I would use this side to write on it myself. These are types of papers that I would use in my own journals and in my own art pages for the books that I write. Like, look at that. Look at that. There's some ready-made ledger paper right there and some thicker paper. I thought, again, these I could make some art pieces, um, do a collage, put a quote on the front and then you could frame it. So lots of different things. This one as well, you could put a photo in there. And these are more recipe page, page, <laughs> I can't speak, recipe pages from an exercise book, it looks like. But I love the t where the tape is and I could just see myself using that for a page in my book as well. Putting a photo here and just writing. I, I love repurposing old things and letting them become part of my story. This is a book cover. So you just a random assortment of things included. I could cut these out if I wanted. I could do so many different things with this, turn it into a book cover. Maybe I add that to um, the cover of a journal. And then there's this cute one at the back here, booklet of um, like pattern sewing, sewing themed book. But there's some lovely images here that I feel I could turn into tags as well. And then any pages left over, I could turn into collages. Like, look at that. There's some ready-made journal cards. And anything left over, I can divvy up into, for example, the Beyond Blue Mystery Packs. Or I could divvy up for the um, Lucky Dip Junk Journal Packs. Because I thought, I've got a whole bunch of vintage stuff. Like, a whole bunch of vintage books. I could put an assortment of um, pages from vintage books in there. I've got playing cards, tea cards, I've got all sorts of fun things. And I thought, yeah, just 10 to 20 items in each pack, all original, authentic, vintage pieces, um, and just have these small Lucky Dip packs, um, you know, $10 each, for example. Um, and maybe I could do smaller ones and larger ones. So $5 ones for smaller packs, $20 for bigger packs, uh, something like that. I don't know if anyone would be interested in that, but I love thrifting. I love sourcing these kinds of things. Um, so if anyone else is interested in that and maybe you can't get these types of things where you are um, and it's just like a lucky dip, it's fun where you get to open it at home and pull out everything and yeah, so fun. So not all of the pieces I could use. I have a little stash of things that I, like I said, have been divvying out for the mystery packs and for freebies and um, maybe I've reserved them for the lucky dip packs. But yeah, I don't know if anyone's interested. Let me know and let me know your favorite piece from this haul. <laughs> and now that I've shared this video, I can find places for all of these to belong and I will have fun sticking these into some vintage journals. I've been trying to accumulate, yeah, some like more random types of vintage ephemera. And so I can make some more vintage journals that are a bit more eclectic themed where you don't have to have everything be a certain thing, whether it's French or botanical. I can just put my love of vintage in there and not necessarily have things have to match and be on theme. The theme is just vintage. <laughs> so yeah, I want to make those types of journals eventually, just a random mix of vintage pieces um, where the journal, journal itself and the ephemera itself, they will tell the story. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.
Bye guys. A huge thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in the month of October. I appreciate you so much. You allow me to do what I do here on YouTube, making journals, teaching journaling courses and running workshops. If you would like to support Willowbound Journals, you can become a patron by clicking the link down below in the description box. Or you can also support my channel by becoming a member of my channel by clicking the join button. Uh, so that is where you get access to member videos and all patrons also get access to member videos over on my Patreon. Uh, patrons also get access to the journal making videos as well as printables each month and the Ruby patrons get access to every single printable kit in my Etsy. There are mail tiers as well where I send goodies to you in the mail. So hopefully there is something for everyone who would like to support Willowbound Journals.